Everybody, Sean James here. Welcome back to the channel. It is beautiful out here today. It's the day after that wicked, wicked windstorm that we had. And I'm out here by that cherry tree. I was hoping to find that it blew down to the ground. Um, not the maple trees that are holding it up. It's swayed enough to release the top branches and have it crash to the ground, but no such luck. A little bit of an improvement. So if you want to head over to the other channel, Myself Reliance, you can see me dropping that and then cutting it into usable pieces of wood. But I wanted to talk quickly about um, laziness. And then laziness is one of those things that's universally almost required for any kind of organism to succeed. So in other words, the more stress that you add to the life of any animal, uh, the shorter the life is. So if a I'm in a forest, for example, here, and the deer have kind of moved a little bit away from this area to get into an area where they all congregate to keep um, the trails open and everything else, and there's better feed there and everything. So they're congregating in that area uh, so in order to conserve energy for the winter. So what they'll do is they'll barely eat. They'll get into a sheltered area, sheltered valley or something, or hemlock grove. Lot, lots of conifers like this and they just hunker down and try to stay still as much as possible until you know food compels them to get up and eat or it's extreme cold or a predator comes through the area or something but by congregating in that one area they pack down all the paths and then they have a path of least resistance that they can take so animals by nature including us want to take the path of least resistance because if we can conserve that energy um, we're able to put that towards long-term survival and procreation and all the things that go along with a, a long and happy and successful and comfortable life. So this deep snow, if a deer's walking through this deep snow, it's no different than me or Callie trying to walk through it. It's exhausting. We burn calories like crazy. And if we can't replace those calories, we die. So the path of least resistance is a, it's a very successful strategy. Now, that, unfortunately, it's also not very rewarding as far as creating meaning and purpose in your life. So to sit around, actually, if you watched the um, Alone Histories Alone series, and I've only watched one full season, but following the um, participants and the winners of that on social media, I know that the winners typically were the ones that were able to go in to the to the uh, competition with a higher body fat concentration or body fat percentage, and then conserve energy while they're there, rather than go with that strategy where it's a um, procurement effort it's more of a conservation effort so sit tight let the, your uh, fat reserves fuel the what little energy you need just to sit still for a week or a month whatever it is so when you think about that how exciting is that how boring would it be to sit in one spot for a month and do nothing so when I talk about laziness and then what the uh, opposite of that is it's I guess um, I don't know if there's a direct opposite but uh, having energy and not being lazy, being uh, ambitious and conscientious, just a hard worker, it fills your days. When I think of a day like this where I'm doing something that might seem relatively wasteful, maybe unproductive, to spend all my time working, second day here now, working on this one tree for lumber and for firewood and smoking wood, uh, it doesn't seem very productive, but what's the alternative? The alternative is maybe sitting inside and, and watching social media, watching something else on YouTube or doing something less productive. But not only less productive, maybe I enjoyed it doing that at that time. But when I look back a week from now or a, or a lifetime, over a lifetime, look back and think, hey, what did I fill my days worth with? I'm not going to remember any of those days that I sat around doing nothing. I'm going to remember the days that I spent helping others or being with family and friends, people that I love, or doing something interesting or more productive like that, or somewhat productive like this. So I'm going to probably remember cutting this tree down. So I'll be looking back and seeing that I did this when I'm older and incapable of doing it. I'll have this memory and this recollection of, by film, on film, of me doing this thing. So way more interesting than if I had done nothing but sit in the cabin and read or uh, doing something that's, um, that's not, just not interesting, bottom line. If I am lazy with my relationship with my wife, then I'm not going to do things for her. I'm going to, you know, 
take care of my own needs first and foremost and and not get around to taking care of hers or my my children's needs and that's a sure recipe for a disastrous relationship so every so that effort that it requires in, in order to improve my marriage um, makes me a better person as well so I'm able I'm helping somebody else to making their life better so that makes me feel good makes them feel good hopefully that gets passed along and before you know it that turns into a long and happy marriage um, years in my case now it's been 20 it'll be 20 third uh, anniversary this year we've been together for then 26 years so that's how I've been able to have a happy uh, marriage is that I've always um, not only put the needs of my family high at the top of my list of priorities but I also stayed active continued to do interesting things continued to put that effort into the those relationships every day and didn't get lazy with my uh, didn't get lazy at all didn't get lazy with my activity level or my uh, care of my family. I hope that all makes sense. It, it's a long way of saying laziness is just uh, straight. It's it's inertia, so it's very, very easy to be lazy. It's much easier to be lazy than it is to be active and productive. And it's, like I said, it's act actually, uh, that's kind of ingrained in us as, uh, as animals. And we're not, and we, it takes real effort to overcome that, that inertia that wants us just to stay still and conserve energy. But once you get moving, that same inertia keeps you moving or keeps, although it's like a car, if you uh, go in straight, not uphill or downhill, but on the straightaway, and you take your foot off the gas, you slowly do slow down. So you just can't take your foot off the gas. Or if you take it off to have your rest brakes and make sure you apply it again. Don't let inertia, that, that gravity and friction slow you down to the point where you can't get going again. That's how I live my life. That's how I think I've created what I consider a successful life because I'm happy and I have a successful or I think successful relationships with the people that are that mean a lot to me. And so that's way more important than financial success. So obviously part of the reason I'm feeling that way right now is I'm about to exert myself substantially to get this tree cut down and cut into usable lengths and the easy path would have been just to forget about this go to the lumber store buy some harvest something closer to the cabin let it dry but I think this tree is going to be well worth the effort to get back here and take it I'm looking forward to doing that um, believe me this snow when I started walking around in it when I cut that tree down with the axe which I again could have done it by chainsaw the the uh, compulsion was real to forget about it and just move on find something easier to do and something easier to acquire but I just felt like the effort was going to be worth it in this case so maybe you know always staying busy always staying active is not the most successful strategy for everybody and maybe even not for myself I might burn myself out but I'd rather much rather have you know 20 years from now hopefully be looking back on this life and saying thinking that most of my days were filled with activity and something interesting that I have a whole huge catalog of memories to draw from and um, that my relationships have been strong enough that it, that they become lasting and that people look back on me fondly in my family and they think that uh, I was a good person and that I made their lives richer and that take some effort I, if I was lazy I don't think that would be the case the other thing just getting back here just again worth the effort snow is so deep and very hard to move around but the sun is shining second week of February the weather is beautiful it's about minus 10 minus 12 Celsius not much wind today which is nice after the wicked windstorm yesterday the animals are out. You can hear the woodpeckers pecking the trees. The squirrels are they're out of their semi-hibernation. They're active. You can hear the ravens. Yeah, beautiful.